Okay, let's have a look at how to connect your Tonematic phone to Breeze on an iPhone or an iPad. So on this demo, I'm going to use my iPhone here. Uh, this is a new iPhone 15 Pro, which has a USB-C port on it, which is great. Um, and probably a little expensive option to be using as a Tonematic uh, device, but it is a super neat and portable option. Uh, but typically, I think you'd probably use something like just a standard iPad or the iPad Air to make for great devices for the Tonematic. So out of the back of the Tonematic, we have this USB cable. So it's a USB-A cable. And what this does, it powers the phone. So there's a Bluetooth controller in here that just needs a little bit of power. And then this cable also will send the audio signal from the handset uh, to your iPad or iPhone. So this needs to be connected to your device. Now, obviously, you can't connect this cable straight into my iPhone or your iPad because it's USB-A. So we need to use a little adapter or a hub to do that. So a few options here. You can get something like this little guy, uh, which is just a little um, converter that goes from USB-A to USB-C. And you can connect that. And then you simply pop it into the bottom of your iPhone or iPad. And that'll now power the phone and you'd be ready to go. Um, you could use a USB hub like this one. Now these are a little bulkier, um, but they'll work perfectly fine as well. Um, so we can connect that in like that. Now this also has some added benefits is that it's also got an ethernet port on it. Uh, you can run power in here as well. So that will power your iPhone or your iPad. And there's some additional uh, USB ports on the side as well. But they're a little bit bulky, so it's probably not my preferred method. Uh, what I think is the best option uh, are these splitter cables that you can get. So basically on one side we have uh, the USB-A and we'll connect uh, our Tonematic to that. On the other side, we have a power input, a USB-C power input. So we can just use our standard iPhone or iPad charger to go straight into that and keep our device uh, charged up while we're using it. So we can go ahead and connect um, the USB-A into this side of the cable. Um, and I won't bother about connecting mains power, uh, but you can do that as well. Now, this phone doesn't really use much power at all. So I think you can run this setup for as long as your iPad or your iPhone would normally last on battery. I think you'd very comfortably get through a four or five, four or five hour event uh, with no issues um, at all. So once you have that uh, connected to your device, if we just spin the phone around and have a look, um, you'll see just uh, through, the, through the crack here, um, between the gap between the dial and the phone, there'll be a little uh, light that comes on. It'll be Red currently, red means that it is powered on, uh, but it is not yet connected uh, to your device or breeze, breeze isn't running. Might be a little bit hard to see in the video, but it is, it is there. So what we can then do is um, on our device, we'll, um, we'll run breeze. And then in breeze, we just need to go to the settings uh, section now, I have made a separate video that shows us more clearly on how to connect to a Bluetooth device. But if we go into our setting uh, and then come down, you'll see here there's a Bluetooth section. Uh, we just need to enable Bluetooth. Now, the Tonematic phone knows automatically to, con to connect to Breeze straight away. So all you need to do is enable uh, Bluetooth in the Breeze settings and then uh, the phone will connect. Uh, like I said, I did make another video on that that you can watch separately uh, that shows in a little bit more detail. So we can go ahead and save that and then we can run the event. So we'll go back to um, our main breeze screen here. And now when we pick the handset up, uh, that will start the recording session. You can hear the greeting uh, through the phone. So there you go. So getting your Tonematic phone connected uh, to a device with USB-C is pretty simple. If you're using an older iPad uh, that has a lightning port on it, you just need to purchase a lightning to USB-A adapter. Apple sells one and there's a bunch of third party ones you can get on Amazon. I'll drop a few links in the description of the video um, for some suggested items to get you up and running. Otherwise, any questions, just jump into the comments and let me know.